Welcome back, UH Nation. We are here at Roseville, California, after another great night of basketball. Um, let's just get right into it, man. Game one, uh, the former MVP, John Pynchon versus Robert Swift. Yeah, that was a great game. That was so fun to watch. It was a real high-level game. There's probably like seven dunks in that game. Yes, yes. Yeah. There, there, was, there was the Thunder versus the Pelicans, right? Right. And, uh, again, it, that game came down to the wire. It was a close game all the way through. Um, two Titans fighting, you know, in the post. It was a battle. The low scoring, lowest scoring game is 44 to 40. It was the lowest scoring game. A lot of defense because no one wanted to go inside. Right. Against either <laughs> one of those dudes. Right. It was a tough matchup. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Big John pushed. They pulled it out. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed by how the game turned out. But it looked like, you know, it's going to be some, some some great matchups and battles in the playoffs if we can get to keep this kind of rivalry going. Yeah, man, I was excited. This is the first I saw. I didn't. I missed last week. Yeah. Watching this, man, I was impressed. Like this league is uh, definitely the best uh, rec league that I've ever been a part of. Like uh, that I've ever seen. Yeah. The level of competition here is really good. So I'm excited about this league and where it's going. Yeah, the direction is great. We got more NBA players coming in. Uh, it looks like we got some some tough guys that are already here. Some former uh, collegiate players as well as overseas guys. The league is just turning out pretty well. Um, but, yeah, that game, the first one was the Pelicans and Thunder. That was a good game, man. Uh, down to the wire. Um, I feel like we're going to see those those two matchups again later on in the season in the playoffs maybe, and I can't wait to watch that again. Yeah. Good game. Good game. You say you have some video. We'll, we'll go to that video footage maybe later on the, in, the, in, the, in the season, but that was a great, great matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, I think the next game was to see Spurs and Kings. Kings ended up winning that one. The Kings ended up winning that game. Uh, that was with uh, Big Ben and Torn, correct? Yeah, they're a good tough team. Too. That team is good. They have a great backcourt, and, and with those two, when they're firing on both cylinders, it's tough. Um, Manny not showing up kind of hurt. Uh, it kind of hurt him a little bit. Uh, however, I think I think that that all teams being you know fully staffed, that game might have turned out a little differently. They also are missing little Billy. Oh, okay. And, and not, I, yeah, man, I think Manny's a different team. I think they're missing Billy like that game, right. and Billy hurt them by not showing up because the point guard not showing. It kind of puts everyone in position. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and Billy's a definitely a good player. And he, he get a triple-double last week, so uh, that's somebody you definitely need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about Warriors Celtics, man. You guys look good. I'm going to be honest. The Warriors, they're probably uh, – I was looking at it, watching all the games tonight. I think you guys are the deepest. You and um, – let's see, who was the other team I was thinking about? The Jazz. The, to me, the Warriors and the Jazz, they don't have a, like – you guys don't have a bunch of height that are big men, but as far as like skilled players, and smart players, I think these are my two favorite teams. So you guys did good tonight, got the win again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was definitely a tough game. I mean, even though the score doesn't 18. show it, uh, it was closer down the stretch. They was like, it did like seven minutes to go. It was like a four point game. We, mm -hmm. we ended up pulling out down the stretch, but you know, the game was tough. I mean, we, we got some, some good contributions tonight from, all, from everyone, but at the end of the day, man, we, our team is tough. We, we have a good resolve. Um, and everyone keeps stepping up, you know, it's kind of like the next man up, you know, you know one guy gets caught, I, mean, I, I didn't have a great shooting night tonight, um, but little Sean, he ended up with almost 30 points tonight, he played phenomenal. Yeah. So it, it's always a good thing about when you got different guys scoring each night, it's, it makes the league even better, it makes your team better. And Jeff, Jeff's always a contributor, man, especially yep. mid-range, he's yeah. a smart guy, and you guys got a lot of just smart, good players, you take good shots, smart shots, you guys move the ball well, mm -hmm. I, I expect you guys to be one of the team, top teams at the end. I expect Warriors and, and Jazz will be one of the top teams at the end. That'll be a tough game. I, I see Jazz. The Jazz, is, they're tough, man. They're big and they're active and, yeah. and they're fast and they're quick. It's going to be a tough game for us, but it'll be fun. Right. It'll be fun. So Nuggets beat the Supersonics, and, I, and that's that's the uh, team that was missing Manny tonight. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah, I got Manny confused. I knew Manny didn't show up tonight and hurt his team. But, yeah, that team was with uh, He's in China or something. with Ralph and um, Aaron Nichols. Right. That team was tough. Well, you know, Ralph and Aaron, they both like to shoot a lot. Oh, yeah. Right? So oh, yeah. I think Manny keeps them kind of grounded and centered and, and not having him around probably hurt them a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to have um, Manny on that team because he kind of gives that stabilizing factor. He's not a – he's you know, he's kind of the flow guy, right? He right. kind of keeps that chemistry going. Right. Um, but, no, that team's tough. They, they took the loss tonight, but – you know, Aaron, uh, Austin Brewer, again, uh, again, we say the same thing when he shows up. Every week. If he shows up, he, he, it's yeah. a good chance his team's going to win. That guy, Austin, is a, he's a good player. It's not, it's no reason he's worth, I mean, it's no, it's no uh, surprise he's worth like $24 million. Right. right? The guy is, is, a, is an excellent player when he's on the floor. Right. Um, and and he, it showed tonight, you know, he just, when he's out there, the team looks a lot better. It's kind of sized down. The guys look, you know, like they're in position. And Austin played another great game. Yeah, he did. 
Yeah, as always. Yeah, funny thing about Austin, he had a he had a snowboarding issue tonight. He had an injury this weekend where he, uh, I guess, he was showing off for his for his daughters and ended up having an incident where he fell into a piece of iron on his hip. So before the game, he had a uh, he was kind of nursing a, a bruise. Yeah. Today. Uh huh. And he drove all the way home, huh? Uh, I think it was this weekend, not today. Oh, okay. I think it was this weekend he heard it, but it was he had a big old bruise on his, on the side. So he, so even though he wasn't full strength, he still had an excellent game. Yeah. He uh, did great. He did great. And, yeah. they, and they got the W. Yeah, good game. Yeah, so. 72-67. It was Sonic. So it was close. It was a close game. It was yeah. a close game. I, I saw it down the wire. I seen Aaron hit a big shot. Aaron Nichols hit a big shot in the corner over here earlier. Right. But, you know, at the end of the day. Him and Ralph, they chuck up these threes, man. And, uh, you know, they're not hitting it. It's going to be a bad night if you chuck up threes so frequently. Like, you right. know, you kind of right. got to pace yourself. Right. Working inside a little bit from time to time. And missing Manny. Nobody else wants to go inside, so. Well, that's the one thing about Manny. He gives him inside presence. Right. And when Ralph wants to go inside, he, he gives him inside presence. If he, Ralph wanted to play inside, he'd be one of the best big men we had. Oh, yeah. He doesn't seem to like going inside. He, he right doesn't now. like it. You know, a lot of the big guys want to kind of, you know, it's, it's painful down there. You got to bang and you got to, it's also got to run from block to block. It's a lot more running. Right. Um, so I, I understand, but, um, you know, again, it might have hurt him tonight by him not going down there, but. Right. You know, at the end of the day, there's still be a tough team. I think they'll still they're still one, one and one, so they'll be uh, tough. They'll be tough in this in this league. Speaking of big guys, uh, the big guy on the Bobcats, who was that? Oh, John Lardy. No, not on not on Jazz on the on the Bobcats that was going up against the Lakers and Chris Birdie. He, he was dominating. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, his name. He's a new he's a new addition to the league, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, he, they couldn't they had they didn't have an answer for him. And uh, at the Lakers right now. Um, they don't really have a big man. Oh, you mean Big Tim Reinhardt? Yeah, yeah Reinhardt. Yeah, Tim Reinhardt. Yeah, he's another. He's a he's a big guy. He's tough. He's a big rebounder. He's a well, you know, they big Chris body. Well, and Darius were guarding him, and they're both guards. That's a bad matchup. Yeah, that's a bad no matchup. Chance. They were posting him up, and, and it was really hard for them to stop. And I think um, you know this was Chris' first game in a long time. I think he was a little nervous. He was off. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, people don't realize how, how, how this court's actually bigger than what it looks like. When you when you right. forget this is, a big, this is a bigger court, and you end up kind of getting winded early on than you than you normally get winded. Um, and plus, you have an NBA three, so it takes a little more energy to get that ball to the rim. Uh, I think Purdy wants a shot. What, three for 15? Yeah. yeah, it wasn't it's the, the greatest shooting night. I, I, was, I can't talk much because I wasn't much better. So. Right. <laughs> um, but, but it happens. This is his first game, and he looked nervous, but towards the end, he started picking it up. And, and I think him and Darius will work it out. They just need a big man. Yeah, yeah, they got a good team, man. I, I like what they got. I think they'll be fine. Uh, and then there's some still some shuffling around the players. We may have a, we may have a nice little surprise for them next week, seeing if we can get some guys in, in position. But yeah, they had a good team. Yeah. Good team. So last game was uh, Jazz Clippers, and like I said, Jazz, to me, looked like one of the top teams. It's, uh, they're really deep. They Jazz. remind me of you guys. I mean, they got probably a little more hype than you guys. But yeah. they got good players, man. Yeah. Well, the Jazz is really good. You know, I, I think that – that's going to be a tough game. I, I'm not going to look past anybody because I can't. But the Jazz is a team that I'm definitely – they're on my radar. Yeah. Um, I, I see the John Lardy. That guy is phenomenal. We 20 actually, and 20? 20 and 20. Yeah, and he's doing – that's the second week in a row he's got 20 and 20. The yeah. kid played high – he has hops. He's active on the glass. He kind of reminds me of like a little – a mix from like a Draymond Green type where he just gets – he's on the glass. He can knock down a shot. And he's just so active to the rim. So, right. um, he's a tough player. And we actually talked to him, right? Yeah, we went to John and, and – and, He'll tell you, like, he attributes a lot of that to chocolate milk. So, um, again, <laughs> you understand what you talk to him. Here he is. Check it out. Okay, so I'm here with Big John Lardy. Another big game, 20 and 20. You got to tell me. So what's the secret? What's going on every game? Uh, just chocolate milk. And, you know, you just got to practice your jumping. That's it. <laughs> Uh, drink some protein, eat chicken. I don't know. <laughs> well, it seems like you got a knack for the ball. Every time the ball's in the air, you got that old Dennis Rodman. Like, you, you, you find a way to the ball, you're putting it back in. I mean, what, what are you doing? Just got to want the ball, go get it. I mean, anytime the ball's in the air, I'm looking at it, I'm going after it. So, I mean, just got just to want it. Okay, so you must have played high school, college ball around the area. What would you play at? I played high school in Fabius Pompey. Shout out Fabius Pompey. Uh, <laughs> that's in central New York, near okay. Syracuse. Okay, okay. I played in... Uh, uh, Wisconsin, UW Washington County okay. uh, for a year. So so go Wildcats. Those guys were good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm here at Lifetime Fitness. You know, it's great here. Oh, we love it. So, you know, you were a sleeper in the draft. So you went kind of low in the draft because no one knew who you were. Yeah. And I, I think Matt might have set it up where they got a great draft pick later on. Um, you guys worked that out before the draft? Um, I'm not, I'm not allowed to talk about that right now, actually. <laughs> I can't. 
information. <laughs> hey, man, great game. We'll see you next hey, week, man. Can I, can I give a shout-out real quick? Shout-out to the Kids Academy at Lifetime. You guys are great. Keep bringing your kids there. They're awesome. Thank you. Sounds good, man. We'll see you next week, John. Thank All you. right, brother. Yes. So as you guys can see, we had a great night of basketball. Uh, John Lardy, he's, he, he's just a, he's a character, but the guy. Yeah, shout out to the kids center. The kids club, you know, I think he works there. I think yeah. he's, a, but, uh, he's a good ball player, man. I, I enjoy watching him play. And uh, also, I don't want to give out Brian Todd and Matt Natoli. They played phenomenal as well. That team is deadly. They're the team that beat, went, had four players and, and won by yes. 30 last week. Yes, I think yeah. having Lavin Pete also helped. I mean, that team is deadly, man. I, I, yeah. Again, shout out to that whole that whole ball club. Sharon, you played excellent. Sharon Blackford is, is another kid who played great tonight. I think he had about 30 some odd points. Um, he played excellent. Yeah. Um, but again, you need help. I mean, uh, he just Kyle Kyle struggled slightly tonight. Um, but it just that team is tough, man. They they make it challenging to score. Every time they scored, it seemed like you know they came back and scored. So it just. It, it, we'll see what happens down the stretch, but I think they're another team that's going to get to watch out for them because you know Sharon is a tough man, yeah. tough, tough ball player. It's going to be interesting is um, when the Thunder plays teams that don't have a big man. Like today, he went up against John. They lost. Yes. Right, but yes. him versus John, that was a great match. That was a great what, matchup. What happens when he plays against the uh, Lakers? Yeah. And they don't have a big man. That'll be challenging. That's, not a, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. You need a oh Roy Hibbert. Gosh. You might have to go recruit somebody from the Kings. <laughs> He's played a guy, but yeah. Uh, Swift is good, man. They they they're still 0-2, man, with their whole team. Yeah, um, weird. But yeah, they're they're big, but you know sometimes John is good too. So he you can't yeah. look past anybody. You play, uh, you know, Swift played in the NBA. He played for the Sonics and the Thunder, but you know John is no slouch. Yeah, he's not. He could have probably improved. He probably could have played. <laughs> well, he played overseas, so yeah. he got paid to play ball. So he's he's definitely a professional player as well. Right. Um, just that six six, it makes it you know tough tough to play that way in the, in the NBA because guys right. are six ten with the same game. Right. Um, but John's an excellent player. Another another great you know I would say it was a great matchup tonight. Yeah. Um, Good week. Yeah. So I, I want to say that was one of the best weeks I've seen in in, in Roseville basketball since we've been here. Yeah, it was a great week. I got some great uh, pictures. Those will go up on Facebook. So make sure you guys check that out. If you don't like us on Facebook yet. Uh, it's Ultimate Hoops Roseville. Make sure you like it. That's where all the pictures will be. I got some great pictures tonight, so I'm excited to put those up. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So, UA uh, Nation, we'll see you guys next week, and you guys have a wonderful time.